Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl St. Bay, and I got another little part two to piggyback on that letting that toxic relationship go. Did you know, because you won't let it go, that it will stop the blessings that God has for you? Like, it will put an exact halt to the blessings that he has for you. Not disconnecting from certain people, certain relationships, certain places will hold up your blessings. It's certain levels that you won't even be able to reach connected to that person. It's so many blessings that you won't even be able to touch as long as you hold on to these people. Certain certain things that God has set in place for you, he can't get it to you because you stay connected to them. And the longer you stay connected to them, you're going to delay your blessing. You're going to delay your destiny, right? You're going to delay the things that God has in store for you. It's not that he doesn't want to bless you, but he's not going to bless disobedience. So let them go. Let God pray about it, fast about it. Um, go to therapy, heal from it, forgive and release it and know that if God is saying disconnect, you need to disconnect because he can see way further down the road than you. They have this saying is that God hear conversations that you will never hear. I believe that God sees the, the person's heart concerning you. And sometimes God doesn't want to bless you because he know that you will share that very blessing with that person. He know that you will um, extend your your good the good heart in you the heart of God in you will extend um, your blessing to share with them when really it wasn't meant for them at all. So let just let just just be a lesson just to listen the first time because it has taken me several times to learn how to be dis uh, learn how to be obedient and not operate in disobedience. There's so many things in my life that were delayed because I chose not to let relationships go, not to let friendships go, not to move from this place, not to move from this job, right? So. If you are ready to heal, be set free and walk in your purpose um, and heal from your broken heart and heal from betrayal, break soul ties, um, stop avoiding counterfeit demonic cycles. I have three books in my bio relationship series book. One is healing from heartbreak after um, betrayal. The second book I have is breaking soul ties. That book helped to over 30,000 women break free from sexual soul ties. And my third book that I just wrote is called The Cost of Mirror and the Counterfeit, where you get to witness the story of Tracy and Robert and how demonic spirits worked in their marriage on their bloodline and how it was a counterfeit marriage sent from hell and how Tracy had to go through that marriage to learn how to... Um, fight her bloodline curses to break things so it would not continue to happen because where there is a pattern there is a curse so i hope you enjoyed this video go hit that follow button see you in the next video